Hello, my name is Bertles and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a sit pose in a chair in your Roblox game. First you need to load up Roblox Studio over here. I'm just going to pick a regular base plane world to just start out. Of course you can use this in one of the worlds you already have. This is just to show you. So, what you want to start off with is by going to view. So you're going to have to have Explorer open, that's over here. You want to have Properties open, that's over here, and the Toolbox too. The Toolbox isn't necessary. If you're going to use models or plugins that you don't already have, it is. So, let's get into it. What you want to start off with is by having these two plugins downloaded. You want the Animation Editor over here, and you want the Build Rig over here. To download these, you can either go to my inventory on Roblox over here. These are it, Rig Builder and Legacy Animation, and download them from there. My inventory is open to anyone that follows my Roblox account. And, or you can just go to the video description and the links will be there. So, let's start off. What you want to start off with, first step, once you have the plugins downloaded, you want to load up a Rig Builder. Now, it gives you two choices, R6 and R15. What you want to do is, well, for this video I'm going to be teaching you how to do the R15. It's basically the exact same thing, except there's a catch. Like, okay, so you see how my avatar over here is in, I'll show you in a sec. You see how my avatar over here is in R15 mode? If you're in R15 and the animation you make is in R6, your character won't do the animation. So you have to make them link up, right? So my animation is going to be in R15 and my avatar and my game is also going to be permanently set to R15. So, you know, people can actually do the pose. I'm just going to load up a block rig. This is the best choice if you want, like, many more people. Of course, if you're only like getting to get like people with the woman rig or man rig in your game, you can do that. But the blocky rig just works just fine. Here is our little dummy that just spawned. I'm just gonna take him to the base, and here, start working on him. You want to load up the animation editor that you just downloaded, and so it's gonna say select your rig to animate. There's no way selected. You're gonna select this rig over here. It doesn't matter where you pick, just here. This is the rig we're loading. Is this the right rig? Yes. So we're going to select him. Right. So now what we have to do is just, just pose him, right? So I'm going to start off by posing his little legs like this. He's going to be... He's going to be sort of raising his legs. Of course, you can press R and you can just press R to switch between selection modes, to switch between like movement modes. You can press R to go into this and R to go into move mode. Rotate and move. So just wait a moment while I make my rig.
Okay. So, now I have what my pose, like, now I kind of have what my pose wants to look like. Of course, I made this really quickly. You can take more time to make yours if you want. This is just a basic sitting pose with one leg up and I'm just flat. And now that you have your pose, all you have to do is go back up to like this black bar and click edit. In edit, you're going to select set looping. It's going to ask you for confirmation. You're going to say yes. Now, you're going to go to edit again and set priority. The priority in this like sort of animation is idle. Your parts aren't going to like, be moving. They're not really going to be animated per se. You're just going to like mostly stay still. Well, just stay still completely. All right, now that you have those two settings fixed, you're going to go to File. You're going to want to export this and save it. What you want to do, go to File, and you want to export it. It's going to open up this little tab, I guess. You're going to title it, something that will be able to recognize. For example, this. Of course, don't do that. I'm just doing it because I'm like stupid. All right, submit it. Now that it's su successfully submitted, you want to copy this little ID here just by clicking these two buttons. Or if you don't want to do that, you can open it up here and just copy it from here. It's the same thing. I'm just going to copy it from here. All right, you want to close this and close this. At this point, you can also just delete your dummy. All right, now I'm going to add in a bench so I can try out the sitting animation. I'm going to select a nice bench. This one doesn't look too bad. This one, fine. Okay, now what you want to do is open up your bench. And yeah, you see how there's two seats here? You just want to delete those. Because we're going to be adding our own seats with the poses right here. So, to add our own seats, you're going to need a script to run the animations on those seats, right? To do that, you can either copy a script and paste it, or you can find a model that already has this, like the script in it. That's what I did. So to add a sit, usually you just press here, but what I have here is saved. I saved here a little, a little seat, a little, a little seat already scripted with the script for running the animations. Again. You can also find this in my inventory, which is over here in models. It's just this one, C4 animations. It's free, doesn't cost Robux, and you can just, it already has a script in it. All right, let's go back to Roblox Studio. Let's close down this bench to make things a lot like, you know, cleaner. And let's import our little seat. Here's our seat. Let's move it to fit our bench. Okay. It's not actually that big, it's just I'm just really close to it. You can position the seat how you'd like on this bench. For me, I'm just going to do it like this. All right. There's our seat. You can even to put to put two seats and make two animations. So like one person sits over here, they'll have a different animation than the person here. But you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to put one seat and one animation. All right. So you want to open up our little seat, which is inside the workspace. You just open up the workspace and go inside your seat. If you click inside the seat, you'll see script and you see sit anim. This basically stands for the sit animation. If you double tap on the script, you'll see that it's already been added. If you added a regular seat and not the special seat, you'd have to type this all in by yourself. Let's close that. Okay, let's go to the sit animation. 
Let's click that and we'll see. This is why you needed to open up properties earlier. You're going to see that in animation, it opens up this tab over here the animation ID. So, remember that ID we copied over here from our animation that we exported? Well, now's the time to use it. You want to pay, you want to, you want to delete the zero over here and paste our little ID. Enter. Once our ID has been pasted, this seat over here now contains our animation for sitting. So, let's give it a try. Same. Let's test it out. Bounce. Go into our bench. Okay, of course it's upside down. That's what my games always are. So let's fix that out. Just need to turn it around 360 degrees. All right, stop this. And let's go back home. Let's click on our seat. Let's rotate it. Let's select the little green blob and move it. There we go. Got it. And now it should be done. Let's put file and let's publish it to Roblox. Again, I'm just going to the keyboard smack because I'm not going to actually like save it, save it. I'm just going to make it private. All right. Our keyboard smash with our sit and our bench is all done. So we can successfully, we can just close this out and let's go back here. Let's go back to my inventory and let's go to places to see my games. Here's our keyboard smash game. All right, let's play it and let's test out our seat in game. It's waiting for me. Okay. We fall in and we see our bench. No dummy, no anything else, just our bench. A big base plate. And there we go. There's our little animation. Of course, this doesn't look very good because unfortunately the bench I chose was like really short. It would look better if you just made the animation for a specific bench or like model. But yeah, basically we have our little animation here. It's all done. So yeah, I hope this video helped you out making your animation and adding a little bit of extra detail to your game. And yeah, I guess I'll see you.